What is up, Christine crew? Welcome back to the video. And in today's video, your girl will be going over the must have, the must needs, the tips, the hacks to going to a pop up shop, what you're going to need, what you're going to want to have, and what is maybe necessities. So, hey, you guys, are here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Christine crew if you have not already, since we are one big family over here. Um, so that you guys know, we will be hosting a pop up shop July 24th, 2021 in Atlanta, Georgia. I will have all the details in the description bar, but let's go ahead and get into this video. I wrote a song for you, but you should pay attention. I was just staring at the ceiling and got in my feelings. Reminiscing about us fighting, fucking and chilling. Right now I'm riding through Memphis, passing through the city. I'm with my niggas, but I miss you, girl, don't get it twisted. Alright you guys, so like I said, we will be talking about a pop-up shop in today's video and how to plan for one and some tips that you guys may need. You all will see me refer to my phone a couple times just to make sure I'm not off track. So, number one, the thing that you need to do is set a few goals. What are you going into the pop-up shop to do? Are you going to network? Are you going to make sales? Are you going to expand your brand? What are you? What is your purpose of going to the pop-up shop? Also, you guys, I want you guys to keep in mind that pop-up shops are not always about making money. Sometimes pop-up shops can be networking opportunities, can be ways to expand your brand and meet other business owners where you have opportunities to collaborate in the future. So that's number one. Find out why you want to go to a pop-up shop. All right. Number two, make sure you guys set a budget. Make sure you guys have enough and not too much or not too little. I am a stern believer in this. I'd rather have more than what I need than less. So make sure you guys find out how you want to do it. What are you going to sell at the shop? Are you going to highlight bangles, bracelets, clothes, shoes, purses? What is going to be your highlight item for your pop-up shop? Keep that in mind. Set a budget. Maybe your budget is $100. Maybe it's $200. Maybe it's $50. Maybe it's going to pull some stuff that you already have created and try to sell it or network at the pop-up shop. So come up with that as well. Number two, how to plan your display. Number three, excuse me, you guys. How to plan your display. You guys, pop-up shops are also first impressions, okay? So make sure you guys have a tablecloth, have some type of pricing sheet. Um, I do have a few little hacks that I'm gonna do later getting close to our pop-up shops to show you guys how to get your pricing sheets together. You also have a table, I said I had a tablecloth already. Have your merchandise set up nicely. Make sure you guys are dressed nicely. Have on a, a nice little uh, business shirt, business polo with your business name on it. Represent your business and your brand. Make sure you guys have like little candies on the table. Make sure the table is eye catching. It is your first impression. First impressions are everything. I may include, um, insert a couple of videos of some of the tables we had at our home shop last year. We didn't personally host a table last year, but we will definitely be having one this year. Um, I want to focus more so on hosting last year, but I will have a table for Christine Creations this year. So I'm also gonna show you guys how I'm gonna style my table, what things that I'm gonna include on my table as well in a later video. But make sure you guys look up and make sure you have some of the most important things. Tablecloth, pricing sheet, products, displays, branding. Okay, brand, branding, branding. That's what it's about. Have your business cards on hand. If you guys use the QR codes, have your QR code blown up in a frame on the table. Tell people how to scan over their phone to look up and see the items that you guys offer or to link to your website or your social media. So that's the must is make sure you guys have all those items. Have shopping bags. Um, That's something that I did, did notice last year. A few people had branded bags. Like if you order, they put the stuff in there and it was, the bag was already branded. If you cannot afford your branded bag, sis, go to Michael's, get some of those little um gift bags. They're like $13, I wanna say for like 20. Purchase some stickers off Avery. The Avery pack of stickers is probably like the big pack, value pack is like $20. Go ahead, print off your uh, stickers and just stick them on top of the bag. Get you some tissue paper. Let make sure the tissue paper matches your brand. So if your colors are pink and blue, make sure that your tissue paper is pink and blue and not like purple and white, okay? So back to branding. Make sure you guys have that. That is a necessity. You want people to feel like it's exclusive to shop with y'all, okay? So number five, 
I want you guys to know that when it comes to a pop-up shop, it's not about just sitting at your table. You want to get up, you want to network, you want to go meet the other vendors. It's not a competition type thing. I know this year our goal is to have a more community-based pop-up shop where it's more of a networking event as well. I want to meet other um, business owners. I want to network with other people. We're going to have bounce houses. We're going to have a um, DJ. We're going to have a host this time. So it's a lot more going into the pop-up shop this time. So make sure you guys are out talking to other people. Bring your story. Bring your business. You may meet someone in a room that can help you elevate your business. You may find someone who's looking to collaborate with someone in the community. And our uh, pop-up shop is a black-owned based. Um, I don't discriminate, just put that out there, but it is going to be advertised as a black-owned business because those are our target markets. So make sure you have someone else that you can trust to be at your table while you're around networking as the owner of your business. I'm going to be there for you guys to meet me. We can talk, we can have a conversation, we're going to take pictures. I will be vlogging the whole event as well. So make sure y'all camera ready if y'all going to come to our pop-up shop because y'all will be on camera. Um... Sell yourself. If you don't sell anything else, sell your brand, sell yourself, sell your why. That is always important. What is your why? Why did you start your business? Why do you feel like your business should continue to elevate? Sell your why. Okay? That's number five for me. Y'all yeah, miss my little... So another thing that you guys can do is, which is number six, have different ways for people to convert POS people, which is basically in person, over to online people. Have an opportunity like a laptop or iPad where customers can sign up to be a part of your email marketing list, your text message marketing list, to get exclusive discounts at the pop-up shop. That will help you all build your, your whole email marketing list. They'll help you build your text message marketing list. You can convert that person into an online shopper as well, but you have to take the first steps to get them to even sign up to be a part of your email marketing list. So have it where they can probably get 10% off, nothing too hard. Make sure you can still do that mental math if need be. Give them 10% off their order if they go ahead and sign up for your email marketing list or your text list marketing list. Always find ways to market and continue to push your business no matter what. Pop-up shops give you the opportunity to still find customers. You may not convert all of them at one moment because you guys know that it takes a person about seven times before they purchase something to see it about seven times. I'm the type of person, I'm an impulse shopper. I have always believed in buying from all of my vendors. I did last year. I do plan on doing it this year because I want to continue to support the next woman, the next black business. We all have to continue to grow. So with that being said, if you guys do have an option where people can save money, do it. That will reel them in, sis. That will reel them in. Okay. Let's see what else. And no more tips. But I want to just speak from the heart. Um, I really do believe in giving black owned businesses the spotlight to promote themselves when it comes to my pop-up shops i personally do not look to make any profit off my pop-up shops i always look to help the next woman help the next person so you guys are like oh why is your um your vnp only 75 dollars oh that includes the table that includes chairs and like refreshments y'all still be hot in atlanta honey in the middle of july you're gonna need you some water you're gonna need some chill and all that but with that being said i am always willing to help the next person um i feel like my pop-up shops give me that the the pop-up shops give me that outreach that i want to do for my business i don't want it just to be a closed off business and just focus on charms i do want to expand it out to the community um i love kids i love to help them i did want to do like a um a shark tank for kids this time but we did not get to promote that early enough, in my opinion. So I won't be doing it this year. But for our pop-up shop in the fall, we definitely will be doing a kid's uh, shark tank. We're going to have a scholarship for them and everything. So I'm all about giving back. Make sure you guys will research on, do research on your pop-up shop posts. See what they're about. See what their brands are about. 
Since they're all about the money, or are they all about helping people? Here at Christine Creation, you guys know, I am about helping people and helping you guys further your businesses and further your dreams. So I hope you guys do sign up for our pop-up shop. Again, it is July 24th, 2021 from 11 to 4 in Atlanta, Georgia. Even if you don't live in the Atlanta area, please share a pop-up shop. Please come by. I would love to meet you guys. It will be more like a YouTube meet and greet as well. Y'all can come out and meet your girl. Take a picture. We can chop it up. So I hope this video was a little, gave you guys a little insight on things that you need or how to prepare for a pop-up shop. I hope I gave some good tips. This is a very quick video, but make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Happy Wednesday. I will see you guys on Friday and you will be looking for, you, y'all, I'm tired. But be looking forward to more pop-up shop um, themed videos leading up to our pop-up shop. Love you guys. See you guys in my next video. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, y'all make sure y'all shop Christine Creations Collection. Shirt by me, shirt by me, made by me, okay? I say Laron, designer inspired shirts. We got a whole lot on, we got a whole lot on. Make sure you guys shop Christine's Creations retail page. W lip down in the description bar as well. And here's my commercial. Whoa.